Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and see what your energy is versus your persons and the overall relationship. Keep in mind that the messages here may be vice versa. You may also want to check your other signs for important insights, okay? Thank you so much for your support and without further ado, let's go ahead and start this reading. This is for Leo and their person. We ask for insights and guidance, please spirit. What is Leo's energy at this time? So two cards came out. We have the nine of swords energy and the three of cups. I'm seeing here that there's a lot of mental activity on your end, Leo. There's something that you're thinking. You are a little bit worried. You're a little bit anxious. You want to talk to this person. It feels like you want to confront them about something here. All right, you feel as though there could be something going on that you're not seeing. Somebody is keeping information here. Something feels like they're not giving you clear answer. All right. You feel like you have to hear about this from another person, a third party, a friend, an outside person. And with Nine of Swords, whatever this piece of information that you received, you've been wanting to talk to this person and find out what's real and what's not. If this is just a gossip or if this is something true so you don't like being in this position at all leo you don't want to hear this from another person you want it to be heard directly from the person all right let's see what this is all about what is this person's energy towards you we have the sun of cups so you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces now this is all making sense because I'm getting here that this person is coming across as quite secretive right now. They're keeping it in. They're bottling their feelings and their emotions or they could also be keeping some information. The Son of Cups can be seen as somebody that can be very withdrawn. They're very moody. Sometimes they're open. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes their emotions are clear and sometimes it's not as well. You may have also been given advice here with Three of Cups, how to deal with this individual through your friends, loved ones, people that know you and this person. And you're a little bit worried with the Nine of Swords. You're concerned that what you're hearing might be true because you're starting to also see some type of red flag or your person becoming more withdrawn, pulling back. Let's see what this is. What is the overall connection at this time, please, for Leo? We have the two of cups energy all right so you feel as though there's a falling out here or you feel like you want to you want to know if you can trust your person you want to know if this person is faithful loyal and is somebody that is prepared to commit to you there's no doubt that there's feelings involved here but you're a little bit worried if they're talking to somebody else all right there's a lot of cup here and you are dealing with a water sign I do feel like this person is not ill-intentioned at all. I'm getting that they're just a little bit hot and cold, giving you mixed messages, and you don't like this at all, Leo. I also feel like you need to be cautious about the advice that you are receiving. Know that the best counsel at the end of the day is your own intuition, your gut instinct about the situation. It's important to filter the information that you're receiving. All right, here with Son of Cups, I feel like your person, though they could be a little bit you know hot and cold towards you right now there could be a real moment where you both can finally talk about this with the two of cups and hear this directly why is the son of cups energy here please let's clarify the message here why is the son of cups here we have the seven of wands why is the nine of swords energy here please we have the four of pentacles all right so on another message here, Leo, I'm also seeing that you are just very cautious. You don't want to put yourself out there if you feel like your person is not devoted, committed. With Seven of Wands, you feel like this person, every time you try to open them up, they can get a little bit defensive about things. This is the energy of somebody toughening up, somebody that does not want to show weakness, somebody that may also be very, very defensive. You're a little bit frustrated over feeling stuck here in a state of limbo or indifference. It could be also time to speak your truth here and express yourself freely, Leo. 
on another message it could also be that friends around you people that are giving you information there's a feeling of being overwhelmed because they're criticizing the person that you're dealing with or you feel like people are judging your person let's see what is the challenge that leo is facing at this time please we have the ace of swords so when the ace of swords shows up in a reading it's time to get clarity it's time to see things for what it truly is it's time to be in the energy of you know rationality looking into the facts sometimes our emotions can cloud our better judgment and i'm seeing here that you may need to take a step back ground yourself in order to put everything into perspective yes you can take into consideration what this third party is saying to you your friend or somebody giving information but you also have to discern the truth by looking into the facts and i'm also seeing here that you know if this person gets defensive and all it may be a good time to take some moment to observe this person all right before making sound decision, sound judgment about what's going on. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you've been wanting to confront this person, you've been wanting to clear things up, but you're you're sort of hesitating because it might end up with a fight. If this is also starting to become a pattern where somebody's avoiding talking to you, it's either they're avoiding you pulling back or they get defensive. And I feel like you need to know here, Leo, that it is on this person if you have already done your part if you have already reached out wanting this person to open up and they're still defensive about this know that in time a lot of things will be illuminated to you there will be things that will be revealed to you in time stay open to receive the information but also but also don't worry and overthink too much okay because this is just going to cause more anxiety more stress Try to put your emotional attachment on the side as well so that you can see things in a logical perspective. I feel like the Two of Cups, for some of you, you may have just recently met this person, okay? It could be that in the beginning, things were going well. You both were building a friendship here. You both were really connecting. You sensed the potential with each other. And there's no doubt feelings are involved here, Leo. However... After given time with Ace of Swords, you could be sensing this mix and mix signals like hot and cold behavior, and this worries you a lot. Okay, it's also triggering some type of traumatic experience. You may have felt like this is something very familiar. I've been here before. I know the signs. I know when somebody's giving me mixed signals, and I don't want that at all. So trust your intuition on this one. Okay, trust your intuition on this one. Let's see, what is the advice for you at this time, Leo? Divine's advice for you is the strength card, okay? You see the lemnus gate in the head of the lion, it's mind over matter. Sometimes when we focus too much on our emotional attachment, like he said, it clouds our vision, it distorts our perception. But if you look into the facts, take everything into consideration, look at different angles and perspective, I feel like you will arrive with a sound decision. Remember that fear can only block your intuition. Intuition and inner voice is that calm voice inside you that's guiding you towards clarity and answers. The strength card also speaks about armoring yourself and protecting yourself to what is it what it is that you're about to find out. I feel like there's some vital piece of information that you're about to receive. It could also be a spiritual download, a realization, or an aha moment that's gonna clear everything up. For some of you, if this person stopped communicating with you because you confronted them about something, I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you again. It could even be asking for an apology with Two of Cups, you know, for lashing out or for um, treating you the way that they treated you, for being very defensive about something. It feels like this person also can't help but feel criticized by your friends or from others that are in your circle here, Leo. I know these are very specific messages they also feel like you need to open up your mind it could be that they have already been criticized or judged even before they can explain themselves but you are somebody very compassionate understanding and loving you have the ability to balance everything out some of you this could also be the person that your friends don't like for you all right i don't know why that is could be your friends are feeling something some type of way about your uh, new person 
and this new person also feels some type of way about your friends see the son of cups can tend to be very jealous as well very possessive because this person you know they may not always verbally express themselves to you here leo i feel like they have very deep feelings for you but they don't also handle criticism very well they their feelings tend to get easily hurt so if they have been criticized here this could be why they're pulling back this could be why their emotions are hurt but instead of explaining and talking things out they get defensive they're protecting their heart this person you know they may appear very strong on the outside but they're very emotional deep down this is also a defense mechanism right defensiveness their defense mechanism is to pull back withhold communication and this could be something very tormenting for you because instead of speaking things discussing things they pull back it's not a permanent energy i do feel like this is only a challenge a test for you and your person and you will both find a way to work things out with two of cups it could be a new relationship all right a period of adjustment getting to know this person and you introducing this person to your friends but again be open to the information that you're about to receive all right i'm also picking up this energy that this person they may have had a previous reputation for something it's like their reputation already preceded them and but you with the strength card here you don't really you don't really judge this person for their past i'm getting that that is how you perceive them you understand you're the bigger person you have this kind of um loving nature to which you don't want to judge somebody because of their past you're somebody compassionate and understanding you also are aware of this person's sort of deep insecurity where they tend to be defensive when their feelings are hurt you know let's see why is the ace of swords here i'm just going to clarify the ace of swords energy ace of cups so there are two aces here and the two of cups so i'm getting that it could be an apology coming in could also be restoring the connection it feels like this person felt like they were not able to speak their truth and express themselves freely i feel like whatever your fears are here leo this person also feels the same all right yes situation may have been feeling stuck but i'm seeing that there will be a clarity of intentions you both will have an opportunity to talk things out it's just that this person has been feeling overwhelmed you might also be in your mind here in your head there might have been an argument or fight that involve friends and other people here i'm not necessarily picking up an affair okay i don't see the seven of swords energy which can mean deception or the magician card which can mean there's something happening in the background or the moon card so i feel like this could have been just something that was blown out of proportion here yes it may have been that this person had a past but we all had past right it might just be triggering here a traumatic experience for you that your defense mechanism as well is to closed off to back off all right and not open up yourself to this person you both actually are in this connection together for a reason you both are divinely orchestrated to meet it's part of divine's plan for your personal growth it's about you and your person becoming aware of your strengths and weaknesses overcoming your own fears over your own shadows here love is taking a risk after all all right it's about your courage and strength right to put yourselves out there to love again despite the risk of feeling hurt because not all relationships are perfect there will always be challenges and tests i feel like the main reason why situation is stuck is because you both have your guards up you both have you know there are projections here is what i'm seeing as well what is the final outcome here let's see what is the final outcome so we have the three of wands i feel like there is a divine timing at play for everything to be sorted out you could also be just using this time right now to better yourselves in every way your person to deal with their issues you to deal with your fear and overall not not having trust on what's going on what to believe i feel like these are precious moments to evaluate everything and put everything in perspective give each other space especially a lot has a lot has happened recently there has been a feeling of being overwhelmed being judged being criticized here both parties okay and here with the three of wands 
I'm getting that it's not a permanent energy right now. You both may feel like this distance is getting, you know, bigger and bigger between you both. But in time, you one party here or both parties will come together. This time is valuable so that you can really think about what you want and not be discouraged by any minor setbacks. You know, all of this, the momentum of your relationship is only going to require your personal resolve, the courage to love again. All right. And not give in to fear. Fear has a way of distorting your perspective. Fear has a way of making you be so afraid and scared to open up your heart. And I feel like both of you have the same kind of fear as well. Whatever you're afraid of, this person feels the same way. Bottom of the deck is the four of swords. So take this time to really clear your energy field, clear your mind, clear your heart. Remember that worry and anxiety and fear cannot exist in the aura of love, right? Let's see, what else can we get here about this person that Leo is dealing with? It's a very clear message here, Leo. We have complacency. So I feel like what's going on in this person is that they're a little bit complacent. They're a little bit hesitant making the first move. This is not, again, a permanent energy, okay? Okay. There's also grieving here and feeling lost, feeling down, feeling sad about the fight, the argument, the conflict. This person is not happy at all with what's going on. They want to be reunited with you with Two of Cups. Now, if there's also feelings of guilt here on your end, Leo, for some reason. I'm seeing here that for some of you, there could be sleepless nights, guilt. You may have felt like you may have listened to an outside force or a third party that try to interfere, try to mess with your mind about this person. You may have felt like, was it me? Was it something that I said? What was it? Was it wrong to, you know, take this person's advice? What I'm seeing here is also do not be hard on yourself, Leo. There is still a reason why these emotions are, what you're feeling right now. And all emotions serve a purpose. And I'm getting that if you both are ready, you can talk about this with Ace of Swords. I feel like this is something very recent, okay? What else can we get here about this person that Leo is dealing with? We have dissipating. So the thing about your person is that they, they can be very stubborn, all right? Just saying here with, with uh, the Son of Cups. They have a desire to reconnect with you, to reconcile with you, to initiate something with you. And I feel like some of you have been waiting for this person or you've been waiting for the right moment. But it may take a while for them to actually message you and reconnect. I'm getting that if they don't wake up now and take action, they may, they may also let this opportunity pass them by. Some of you are a little bit worried that too much time has passed or this distance between you both is just getting bigger and bigger. So don't let the arguments here left unresolved. It's important to deal with them in real time. All right. So that it won't left. It won't leave you both a mess of emotions. The sooner that you can talk about this, the sooner that things will be better. Let's see. We have the isolation card. So your person is isolating themselves right now. Um, I feel like your person is also experiencing loneliness, sadness. I feel like deep down this person just really wants to be understood might just be miscommunication here bottom of the deck is insecurity so be careful here leo i'm seeing that for some of you there's somebody around you or around this person that's a little bit insecure of this connection you both are very magnanimous though it could be a very powerful couple but be careful of the information that you receive there are those that are giving you the truth there are those that you can trust when giving advice but don't also rely on the direction and reassurance of others Remember to follow your own heart. All right. Insecurity here. Somebody's insecure with this person or they're insecure with your connection. I don't know to whoever this resonates. Let me pull an advice card here for you, Leo. The strength card here may be an apology. So I feel like there's, there's going to be a big probability for reconciliation as long as... You don't let this go on for long because the risk is that too much time has passed. What is your overall advice for Leo, please? 
So we have here health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So I feel like the message for you with Nine of Swords is to take care of your health. Take care of how you're processing your thoughts at this time. Don't overthink things too much here, Leo. Remember that your thoughts are powerful. They shape your reality. You are what you think. Okay. Let's see what this card is advising. Your body is your temple and you are responsible for its care. You have chosen to incarnate in this physical dimension to learn certain lessons. And if you don't maintain the physical vehicle that your soul has chosen, then you are sabotaging your own plan. Your health is a vital element of your soul's progress and you should never take it for granted. Be sensible about nourishment and exercise. You could be a sensitive being who must be conscious of your surroundings because you can easily be drained by people, places, or things. Always make a ritual of protection and cleansing before you work with a client or just bring your mind back to your heart throughout the day to rejuvenate. This card may also signify a desire to assist other beings through physical or emotional healing work. You may be involved professionally in the medical fields, body work, psychiatry, and counseling. Or maybe you're just a good listener who possess sage advice. If you or someone you know inherited a con congenital disease, past life work may be of some benefit. All right, so Leo, I feel like for some of you, you are a sensitive being and you need to be conscious about people that drain your energy out. All right, again, third party energy here that I'm seeing. I'm also picking up that your person needs to heal at the moment. There could be some deep rooted insecurity as well that makes them feel very defensive. Okay, but there will be a real opportunity to talk things out. Um, just right now, your priority is about healing, getting back to a better mind space and heart space after that stressful situation. This is what I'm seeing for you and your person. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.